Hello everyone, Ronis with yet another tutorial and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to color grade and get those beautiful and more professional colors and skin tones in your images in Photoshop. So unlike my usual videos or tutorials where I've been show, showing you guys how to retouch your images are using frequency separation, dodging and burning and everything, I want to show you guys how to color grade your images in Photoshop. I know Color grading really depends on so, so many factors and the very first factor is going to be your screen, the screen of the device you're going to use to color grade. Remember, in order to color grade an image, you want to get uh, the right colors for your images. So make sure your screen is calibrated and if it is not calibrated, make sure you get uh, maybe a laptop that is going to give you the right display and for this tutorial I've just decided to use uh, my MacBook to show you guys the right color grading process or procedure. If at all you use a screen that is not calibrated you're going to be getting the colors wrong and if at all you put your image after color grading on another device it's going to be showing you guys a wrong color graded picture so your image on the other device is going to be looking way different from uh, the image you color graded uh, on your computer screen simply because the screen you used for color grading was not calibrated so i would advise you look for uh, better screens or monitors that are going to be helping you guys to uh, color grade quite well and you can see i took this image a while back i think it was at the start of last year and since I was using a laptop that was not giving me the right colors, uh, this image, I wasn't even sure what I was doing back then. But as you can see, this image right here, it kind of looks oversaturated. Everything looks to be off and looks uh, really overboard. So I want to show you guys that if at all you get the right monitor, you're going to be able to notice are the mistakes and you're going to be able to learn and find the best or get the best out of your images so we want to learn how to retouch this image in adobe photoshop and you're only going to be using camera Raw for color grading so this story is going to be about how to color grade your images using adobe photoshop camera Raw or the camera raw plugin in photoshop so we want to uh, color grade this image from uh, looking like this you can see it has so many oranges the reds are off and uh, the greens are kind of distracting and it looks oversaturated so we want to go in for that kind of uh, realistic kind of skin tone and we want to change the image from this you can see I already made a new layer because I'm sure guys what we are going to, what we are going to achieve so I want to change it from this and achieve uh, this kind of look i hope uh, you can see the before and the after this uh, kind of looks uh, better to me yeah so we are going to try to learn and understand how i got uh, this specific look for this very image in just camera raw or the camera raw plugin color grading for this very image so i'm going to just come and i'm going to delete uh, that layer so, so that you can start from scratch. So what, whenever you're doing uh, your, whenever, you, whenever you're going to do your color grading, you have to make sure you make a copy of your background there. So you're just going to make a copy by hitting Ctrl J or Command J on the keyboard. Yeah, J for jug. So Command J on the keyboard or Ctrl J to uh, make this new layer so we can easily rename that layer yeah color color grade so let's rename that because we want to do adjustments after we have color grade so what we want to do we want to first of all uh, see that we have this copy of the background layer so we want to dive into the camera filter and we do the necessary adjustments in order to get those nice and more professional skin tones for this very image so you're going to come right here to filter like this 
then you're going to come to camera filter so it is going to open your interface of the camera and as you can see i'm using a new version of camera that is uh 12.4 so if, uh, even if you have uh older versions uh you're going to be able to get uh these options and you won't be left out for this very tutorial so we want to achieve those natural and uh, realistic skin tones and first of all we are going to be using the hue saturation and luminance slider so this is the hsl option in the camera filter so what you're going to do we're going to first of all come to our hues because uh this is where the magic is going to basically take place for this very image and we want first of all since we have so many reds we want to play around with the hues and uh, in order to reduce on the reds we're going to go in for an opposite of the magentas so you're just going to move uh, towards uh, the right hand side like this so let's uh, take it uh, we're going to go with around let's go with around 35 so you can see we have uh, kind of eliminated most of uh, the reds in the image and we have kind of muted them then we're also going to come to the oranges and we're going to try to mute uh, these oranges so you're just going to uh, move this slider until so let's see what it is going to give us don't take it overboard because you're going to, you're going to end up with a green image so we're just going to uh, do a little bit like that you can see we are now starting to achieve uh, those beautiful uh, skin tones and this is not all we have to continue color grading this image so since we have uh, so so many yellows you're just going to count the yellow panel under the hues and you're going to turn it all the way up like that i want to show you guys each and every step so what you're going to do right now you're going to come to the greens too and since i want to go for a different kind of green we want to turn it towards uh, the blue side like that to around 100 so after you have done so we're going to come right to the second option so we're going to come to the saturation and we try to mute or reduce on the intensity of these colors in this uh, very image and in order to do that uh, in order to do that sorry uh, we're going to first of all come to the reds remember the reds are too much in this image and you're going to uh, knock the reds to around negative 43 and now we're going to come to the oranges and you're also going to turn them down because the image kind of looks uh, really too orange so you're going to come right to the oranges and you're going to uh, knock it uh, down so depending on uh, the look you're going in for so you're just going to go in for 30 and right now you're just trying to achieve you're just getting there and now you're going to come under the greens sorry you're going to come uh, first to the yellows and you're going to knock the yellows all the way down to negative 100 then you're going to come to the greens and you're going to just uh, pump up the greens to around you're just going to pump uh, the greens to around seven like that so I think these two are really uh, blending quite well. The background and uh, the skin tones we have achieved so far. So right now what we are going to do, we are going to come under the luminance option right here. So what we are going to be doing, we are going to come to the oranges and you are going to play around with uh, the oranges. So you are just going to, you can see what the luminance slider basically does. So if I told you want to brighten up a particular color, you drag to the right hand side. So we just want to reduce or mute on the number or the intensity of uh, the oranges in the image so you're going to go in for around negative nine for the oranges so after we have done so we want first of all come right back up to our curves adjustment layer so here is where the other magic really happens in this image so we're going to come and select uh, the reds yeah the red channel sorry so you're just going to make a, a point right here like that so you're just going to 
you can see when you turn this down you add greens into the image and when you turn it up you add uh, reds into uh, the shadows of your image so this is basically the shadows of the image so you're just going to add a brief yeah brief reds into uh, the image like that so after we have done so you're just going to come right here to uh, the highlights and you're just going to also uh, go towards uh, the green side for the highlights just uh, slightly like that so you can see if at all you feel uh, it is too much for your liking you can just come and uh, reduce on that you can see we are now getting there and we're just getting uh, those rich beautiful and more professional skin tones so we can as well come to the greens and uh, we can see how to play around with the greens in the highlights so let, let's add uh sorry so in order to delete a point just make sure you double click on that point to uh, reset a given point so let's see if at all we can add some magentas the shadows so let's add a little bit of uh, the magentas right here i think let's uh, leave that we won't play around with that channel so if at all uh, we, the major emphasis was in the, in the reds. Remember, the reds contain most of uh, our skin tones. So what we are going to do right now, we are going to come right above uh, to the basic uh, panel. This is our basic panel where you have the exposure, highlights, shadows and everything plus the clarity. And we are going to play around with these uh, sliders. So you want to add a little bit of contrast to our image. So you are going to go with the contrast of around seven for this image then you're going to come to the shadows and you're going to go with around a negative 17 for the shadows then you're going to come with uh to the highlights and we're just uh the whites rather and you're going to uh pump it to around six to get that glowing kind of skin tone then let's come to the clarity and you're going to also pump it up like that to around five then what you're going to do this is where the other magic is going to take place for this very image so we're going to come to the saturation since the image uh, looks really oversaturated we are going to come right here and we're going to knock down the saturation for this image i hope you guys can see what is really taking place on the image you can see what the saturation is doing so i think we're just going to go for uh, this kind of uh, look i think uh, this uh, looks good and they're also going to come the vibrance and you're going to also uh, knock it down slightly to around a uh, negative let's go with a negative four so i think i took the saturation all the way down so let's uh, leave it at that I think uh, this uh, really looks uh, beautiful to me and it looks good. So what you're going to do right now, you're going to come back to uh, the saturation and you're going to come to the greens and you're going to uh, reduce on the intensity of uh, the greens in this very image. Like that. And we are also going to come and reduce on uh, the oranges too because uh, it was really looking uh, kind of orange, uh, orangish to me. So let's go with around negative 38. I think uh, the image uh, really looks nice and beautiful. So you can as well come to uh, right above, right here. And you can as well uh, pump down the blacks in the image to around that. Then also come to the temperature. If at all you feel your image is really warm, so you can come and knock uh, that down to around. We shall go with negative one for the temperatures. I think uh, this uh, really looks uh, nice and beautiful uh, to me. And you can as well continue going and playing around with those different sliders. So now what we want to do, we want to kind of uh, do, let's... Uh, command minus to uh, zoom out i think uh, this uh, 
is all for the color grading. So let's see the before and after for this image. So that's the image before, after, before, after. You can see what we have just done with just uh, the camera raw filter. I uh, know that to do the color grading on this image. And if at all you loved uh, this tutorial, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if at all you're still watching and hit the like button. So after we have done so, you're just going to come and you're going to open the image and i'm going to share with you guys some other thing you have you have to add to your images to give them that more professional look so just open the image uh, by clicking ok so you're going to come under selective color right here and you're going to hit or open it so you're going to come right under the blacks uh right here so you're going to come uh, under the blacks or the black channel so drop down and click blacks and you can come and intensify on the blacks in uh, the image then you can as well play around with these sliders if uh, you really wish to so you can as well uh, work with both the camera filter and uh, you can as well work with the selective color to just spice up what you did with your camera raw filter and let's put these two in a group to see what we basically did for our color grading of this very image so let's uh, put these two in a group so by hitting command g after selecting both layers so command g so let's see a before and after so this was the image before after before after so basically we have just color graded this image to get those beautiful nice skin tones for this very image and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button uh, drop a comment in the se in the section of the comments of this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching from this channel and you have never subscribed this channel i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and don't forget to keep creating and practicing if at all you want to be a great photographer or retoucher in the photography business and keep safe.